Hi, my name is Bob Rowley. I'm going to uh, I'm going to go over some ways that you can modify um, civil geometry uh, horizontal elements. First thing I want to do is just real simple items. Uh, so I'm going to click on the alignment and say I want to change this uh, curve. As you can see, here's the radius for the curve, and so it's currently at uh, a 600 foot radius and maybe I want to make that an 800 foot radius I just click on it into the radius that I want and it's going to go ahead and change that um, with like any of these you know if that's not what you want you can always do an undo and get back to uh, to where you were um, some of the other options uh, as well are uh, changing the direction um, so coming in and changing the direction of a, uh, a bearing for say um, so in this case I click on the alignment you can see the green information that stuff I can change I went in and changed that radius um, but now the uh, the bearings there um, those were the original um, elements and you can see as I kind of hover over the top of it I can I can get to it and so so if I click on that particular element then I get the green information about the length and the bearings so I could go in and change this to uh, something different maybe I'll do a uh, south uh, 75 um, degrees with the carrot and 67 minutes oops how about 57 minutes and 34 seconds west and so we can just hit enter our bearing then hit and enter and you can see the the bearing on that line changes and so that's another way that uh, that we can modify uh, the alignments and one of the others and probably mo one of the most uh, the easiest is to just grab onto an element so we can see here's our PI of our alignment and I can just grab onto that and I can change where that PI is uh, the bearings and the distances obviously will change I can also come in and <clears throat> grab onto the ends of the tangents and modify that as well or grab one of the arrows and rotate it about and so we got all kinds of different options uh, as far as that goes so and the next thing I'm going to do is I'll we'll take a look at at this alignment and how it was created and such and so I can come in and I can change the the radius on that you see the other radius and so what happens is you know the radius changes the curb changes and this tangent is going to change as well so it operates a lot differently than the alignment uh, that was uh, right above it and so we'll go ahead and undo that so we can also go in we can change the the length of the curve and obviously it's going to operate very similar it's just going to modify the curve and the tangent uh, will change that and then of course we can change the lengths of, uh, of that tangent as well so uh, we can't change the bearing of it because it is based off of that curve that it's attached to so so the next thing I'm gonna do and so I'm gonna click on this alignment I'm gonna make this uh, radius a little bit smaller so I got some more tangent here so um, I'm going to go in and we're going to insert a um, fillet into our or curve into our alignment and so I'll go into the modify and go into insert fillet and then we'll pick on a point to locate our vertex and you can see as our vertex are basically inserting a PI at this point we're going to locate that vertex and then we are going to give it a radius and I'll just go ahead and give that a, a 200 foot radius you can see the radius I'll left click to accept that and so now we have inserted a new curve into our alignment so 
So another option that many people aren't aware of is they can go into the drawing tab and then go into the regular microstation tools and do a insert vertex. And so I can come in, I can pick on my alignment and I can come in and I can insert a vertex into that alignment. Um, just the same, we can come in and delete vertex. So I can pick on the alignment, delete the vertex. Even if I want to delete the uh, this curve and the vertex that uh, is in that location as well. So we can uh, come in and do a delete vertex once and get rid of a curve. And then we can do a delete vertex again and it will get rid of that uh, PI point that was uh, added to that. This also works in the uh, in the profile tools as well. Some of the other modified tools that you can use is, uh, and here I'll just go out and uh, I'll just do a quick geometry line here. Set our feature to alignment. And so say we have another alignment out here and we need to extend that. And so we can go into our drawing tools. We can use the trim to element. And so we can pick our alignment and go ahead and trim it to our other alignment. Or we could go in and do a trim to intersection. And so we can pick on that, that, and it will go ahead and trim that intersection. And as you see, you can see the uh, ghosted element from the from the original elements. And uh, so that's another option with the MicroStation uh, modify tools. One other thing you might want to do, especially in a case of uh, like this alignment where you built it, but you really don't need that complexity or the remembering those snaps and things like that. There is a tool to be able to simplify those alignments. And so if I go back to the geometry tab and go to simplify geometry, I can pick on that, uh, locate the element, um, maintain a copy of the base elements if you want. No. And we uh, now we've simplified that alignment. And so, so we pick on it and you can see it's kind of more of just the PI based alignment. And so... Um, that will simplify those alignments that uh, that you want. Of course, one of the uh, things that were was asked quite a bit about is being able to use a table editor. And so we'll go up into our our geometry and uh, go into the table editor. So we'll pick on the table editor under common tools. Let's go ahead and pick on this, this PI-based alignment. And so that will bring that alignment up in a table and you're able to go in and modify things. And so as I, as I pick on um, elements, I can go ahead and you know type in. So in this case, we want to put in a 600-foot radius. You can see the dashed line show up. And then if I want to go ahead and accept that. I can hit the apply and it will go ahead and create that radius in the alignment for me. So that's a real good way to uh, go in and enter data or go in and modify uh, an alignment. One of the other things you might want to do is station uh, that alignment. So we'll go into our modify tools and do a start station. We'll pick on the element. We'll pick on the distance that we want to assign that station. In this case, we'll use zero. And then we'll put in a station of 30 plus zero, zero, and accept that. And so now we've stationed that alignment. If we select on it, you can see the stationing here. You can also go into drawing production, and then we'll just go ahead and station that alignment. You can see. That is the station that, uh, that is coming up on the alignment. So that's it for uh, modifying horizontal. Thank you very much. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.